Man, I'm oh, excited about tonight. What should I get started? Well, first of all, welcome to the show again. It's uh, our uh, LCD boxing, lowest common denominator, home of the U.S. demographic. And uh, <clears throat> just got done watching uh, Jamal, Jamal Charlo uh, finish his business. I'll tell you, man, that, that dude got a lot of power, man. And he's so vicious with those uppercuts. Maybe that uppercut came so smooth while he was countering the hook and dropped him, made this dude cut a backflip in the ring, man. That Them uppercuts is vicious, man. You you got to know that fight in this dude, man. And everything he throws is vicious, though. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but real good fight. Uh, oh, boy. Um... Hogan had a herky-jerky style, and everybody knows it's kind of hard to get the timing on that guy, but that didn't slow Jamal Charlo down. He was coming regardless, and he was throwing everything, and he started catching them. He made his adjustments. He started catching them, and Hogan was feeling that. I seen at least three times, at least three times he was hurt before he got knocked out. Um, and I had a feeling he wasn't going to make it out the ring. Uh and now Charlo the man, he, he got these up and comers want to really fight this dude, man. They really want to go at him, you know. And, and he he where he want to be, so he gonna be looking for the best deal and the best fight, and uh, he gonna do what he gotta do. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Canelo give him a shot. Hopefully he fight Canelo, Triple G, uh, Andre. That'd be a good matchup. Um, you know, I would be uh, very eager to see how that play out. Both of these guys are really good box boxers and very technical. And uh, I know Boo Boo got some pop in his left hand, and I know Charlo got some pop in both of his hands. So definitely gonna be a high IQ tactical fight again. Uh, maybe maybe even as good as uh, Charlo versus J Rock. So I would love to see it. I saw uh, the DAZN fight, Andrew Reeves Jr. versus Anthony Joshua, and that played out pretty much how everybody expected it to play out. I didn't see AJ trying to engage with Ruiz. Uh, I think, you know, you know him, him winning the fight the way he did, I believe he had to do it that way because he was just getting out punched, you know, and he would hurt Ruiz, and Ruiz would recover so fast and then come back with something. Uh, the last fight, you know, Joshua couldn't put up with that, couldn't keep up with it, and he was gassed out. This go round, I kind of feel like he might have been on something because I ain't never seen this dude gas out. I've been watching all of his fights. He gas out every, sometimes in like the third, fourth round, tired, gassed. And then it take him like, you know, if it's a tough fight, two, three rounds to recover. I've seen that from this dude so every fight. Every fight except this one, so maybe they had some Red Bull in his fucking water. I mean, his water bottle. I don't know, but I'm just saying. You know, I see he trimmed down, but the dude always gas out. So uh, I suspect it might have been something dirty going on um, because his promoter and their fighters have a history of fighters popping up dirty. And it just so happened, this fight happened in Saudi Arabia, and they didn't do no testing. So I can't rule it out. Can't prove it, but can't rule it out. So, you know, but I know what my eyes tell me. And AJ just did not look anything like he ever did. Um, just want to throw that out there. But anyway, he did what he had to do. You know what I'm saying? You know, he, he, he used his jab. He tried to stay long um, and keep the distance. And Reeves was trying to come in. Every time Joshua would throw a big shot and catch Reeves, he, he would jump in and throw maybe one more and then back right out. He knew he didn't have the hand speed. So, you know, pot shotting and uh, that's what he was trying to do. And actually, that's what he was doing. He was pot shotting and he was, you know, on the bicycle a lot. Never seen Joshua on the bicycle. I don't care what these U trolls, uh, excuse me, what these UK trolls say. You have never seen Anthony Joshua on the bicycle. Ever, ever. But to his credit, he did what he had to do to win the fight. So I'm not mad at him. You know, it made for a lackluster fight, but he got the W, and that's all the fuck that matters. So he got the W. 
He did what he had to do. That's how he had to beat that guy. He couldn't beat old Joshua and, and fight Ruiz. Old Joshua got knocked the fuck out again. Okay? But this Joshua, uh, that that Joshua did what he had to do to win this fight, and he deserved it. Um, shout out to Anthony Joshua for that. Um, and that's all I got to say for the night, man. Uh, thank you for coming to the video. Subscribe to the, like and subscribe to the channel. LCD Boxing Home of Your Demographic. And, uh, you know, comment below. Thanks. Bye.